so-called Harlem Shake dance craze? Really, I wasn't. But look, the international viral video madness that is populating Facebook and filling segments of the morning shows is fascinating. But it is not, I repeat, not the Harlem Shake. Be clear, I'm not hating. Feel free to don cartoon masks and hurl, jerk, and toss yourself about into any old beat you want, even if you're the only one who can hear it. Just don't call it the Harlem Shake. The Harlem Shake has a history, a trajectory, embedded in the authentic, lived, urban experience. It has been popular in New York since at least the 1980s. And for everyone not living under a rock, P. Diddy brought the Harlem Shake to popular culture two decades ago. But in truth, you have not seen the Harlem Shake unless you have seen kids on the New York subway subway performing the intricate, fast-paced, and on-beat moves while maintaining balance on a moving train. Now, this is about more than proper designation of a popular dance. It's about cultural appropriation. When communities create original art, they have a right to some creative control over its definition. If you enter a ballroom dancing competition, you better not cha-cha during the waltz. Creative interpretation is expected to respect certain boundaries. That's what conveys the respect. And the wholesale application of the term Harlem Shake to flash mob boogie downs that are most definitely not the Harlem Shake? Let's say that's problematic. This is especially true within the long history of voyeurism and appropriation of Harlem's artistic innovations. Harlem has given birth to some of America's most distinctive and original art, music, and literature. And just as surely as Harlem has innovated, it has been invaded by those who come to Harlem with little sense of history or social context and no desire for political or economic solidarity. Think of the original Cotton Club of the 1920s. There it sat on 142nd and Lenox. It was home to Duke Ellington, Ethel Waters, Cat Calloway, Bessie Smith, Etta Fitz, Ella Fitzgerald. But only white patrons were allowed. No member of the community could sit and enjoy the music that the community itself created. And the wound of that cultural theft is still fresh. And the new shake craze must be understood in that context. Just check out these residents of Harlem responding to the so-called new Harlem Shake. But it's not the Harlem Shake like at all. That's not the Shake, me? Oh, no good. That's not it. This is not what the Harlem Shake is at all. So I'm asking members of the media to cease and desist in describing this as the Harlem Shake. I'm gonna show you what you can call the Harlem Shake. As we leave you until next week, let me introduce Harlem's finest, the true performers of the real Harlem Shake, the Crazy Boys and the Harlem Shakers. Take it away. Harlem, Harlem, be just without a problem. People are trying to do that fake Harlem Shake. Let it shake to this beat. How much noise can you make to this? Wow. Let it shake to this beat. How much noise can you make to this? Shake, 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 shake,